The Giant Escape 3 is a bike I've been using for some time now, and overall, I'd say it's a good choice if you're looking for something basic and reliable. I wouldn't call it flashy or high-tech, but it does what I need it to do without too much fuss. Whether I'm heading to work, running errands, or just taking a ride to clear my mind, this bike fits right into my daily routine. It's the kind of bike that doesn't demand a lot from you, but it gives back in terms of being practical and easy to ride. When I first got on the bike, I noticed how light it felt. The frame is made from aluminum, which makes it pretty lightweight, especially compared to steel bikes. This makes it easy to handle and helps when you need to go a little faster. It doesn't feel like you're dragging a heavy bike around, but even though it's light, it feels solid enough that I'm not worried about it breaking or being too fragile. I feel like I can take it on different surfaces, from smooth city streets to bumpier paths, without a problem. The ride itself is smooth, and I think that has a lot to do with the 700C wheels. These wheels are a good size for a mix of speed and stability. They roll well on most surfaces, and I haven't had issues with the tires feeling too thin or too fat. They're just the right balance, which makes the bike feel steady. The tires are puncture resistant, which is a big plus. I don't have to worry about getting a flat every time I hit a rough patch on the road or some broken glass. One of the things that stood out to me early on was the positioning of the handlebars. You sit more upright on this bike compared to some others, which I find much more comfortable for everyday riding. It doesn't put as much strain on my back, neck, or shoulders, so I can ride for longer without feeling sore. I like this because I use the bike for commuting, and I'm on it for a decent amount of time during the day. It's not a racing bike, so I'm not leaning forward in an aggressive posture. Instead, it feels casual and relaxed, which is exactly what I want. One of the main reasons I went with the Giant Escape 3 is because it's versatile. It has 21 gears, and for me, that's more than enough. I use the bike to get around town, and sometimes that means dealing with hills. The 3x7 gearing system, 3 chainrings in the front and 7 in the back, gives me plenty of options to find the right gear for the right situation. Shifting between gears is easy, and the Shimano shifters do their job well enough. It's not going to be the smoothest shifting you've ever felt if you're used to high-end bikes, but for the price point and the kind of riding I do, it works just fine. The Shimano Torni derailers are also pretty basic. They get the job done, but they're not top of the line. I've had no major issues with them so far, but I imagine they might wear out quicker if I were putting a lot of miles on the bike every week. For my purposes, though, they're fine. If you're someone who's planning to ride long distances or in harsher conditions, you might want to consider upgrading these parts eventually. The brakes on the Giant Escape 3 are linear pull brakes, sometimes called V-brakes. They're not disc brakes, which means they don't have the same stopping power, especially in wet conditions. But in dry weather, they work well enough. I feel in control when I need to stop, and they haven't let me down so far. I would have preferred disc brakes for a little more confidence when it's raining, but again, this bike is on the simpler side so I wasn't expecting high-end brakes. For city riding and casual use, these brakes do the trick. The bike also has some practical features that make it a good fit for commuting. There are integrated rack mounts, which I haven't used yet, but I plan to. If I need to carry groceries or a backpack, I can easily add a rear rack and make the bike even more functional. This is a nice touch because I don't have to figure out how to attach a rack without built-in mounts. It's ready for that kind of customization if I need it. I think the Giant Escape 3 is a great choice for someone who wants a reliable, no-nonsense bike. It's not the fanciest or the most advanced bike out there, but it does the job well. If you're looking for something versatile, comfortable, and affordable, this bike checks a lot of boxes. It's perfect for commuting, fitness rides, and casual outings. The design is simple, the components are functional, and the overall experience of riding the bike is smooth and easy.